Hello, everyone. Uh, we'll see some more examples related to the DFA. For example, the language is given as uh, W, which is uh, in which the alphabet set is AB. And here it is said that the length of the string mod 2 should be equal to 0. It means first we should draw the language set. So a 0 length string is also divisible by 2. And then the two length string, for example, AA, AB, BA or BB. So this should also be accepted by this language. And then any string that contains four symbols that will also be accepted and so on and so forth. It means that uh, the automata which is possible for this is let's say Q0, which is the start state. On getting a symbol AB, you will reach to, let's say, the Q1 state. On getting a symbol A or B, again, you should move to the Q2 state. Here we are saying that the zero length string is acceptable, so Q0 should be the final state. And here we are saying that the two length string is also acceptable, so Q2 should also be the final state. It means that the three length string should get rejected. Let's say we are reaching to the Q3 state. And then if I say that I have a four length string, so that should get accepted. So if I have A and B, so it reaches to Q0 state, which is, Q0 state, which is the final state. It means that if I say that this is a zero length string, then one length string, two length string, and three length string. And again, four length string, five length string, six length string, seven length string, eight length string, nine length string, 10 length string, 11th length, then 12 length string and so on and so forth. So you can see that the Q1 and the Q3 state is uh, reachable on five length string or nine length string or seven or 11 or one or three. So these are odd length strings, but the even length strings are getting accepted by the state Q0 or Q2. So this is the automata, which is for the given language L. But we can design the same automata in the different ways also. For example, if I say I have a Q0 state, and since epsilon has to be accepted, I'll consider that Q0 is the start and the final state both. On getting A and B, let's move to the Q1 state. And uh, on getting let's say A and B again, you move to Q2 state, which is the final state because this is the two length string that seems out to be. And then on getting a symbol A and B, you reach to Q1 state. So let's count here, zero, one, two. And then again, if you move to Q1 with length three, and then with length four, you move to Q2 state. With length five, you move to again Q1 state and then with Again, getting an A and B, the length of the string becomes six, you move to the Q2 state. So you can see that these two length string or four length string or six length string and similarly eight length, eight length string will be accepted by the Q2 state. And the zero length string will be accepted by the Q0 state. Now, this is not the only way uh, how the automata can be designed. There is one more possibility. Let's say Q0 is the state, the start state, and the final state also because epsilon has to be accepted. Then with A and B, you can move to the Q1 state. And then again, if you have A and B move to the Q0 state, if you have again A and B move to the Q1 state, it means zero length string, one length string, two length string, three length string, then four length string, five length string, six length string, then seven length string, and so on and so forth. It means if this is 0, 2, 4, or 6 length string, the string is getting accepted by the Q0 state. And if it is a 1, 3, or 5, or 7 length string, it is getting rejected by the Q1 state. So Q1 is a non-final state and Q0 is a final state. So out of the three DFA, let's say this is DFA1, and let's say this is DFA2, and let's say this is DFA3. So out of the three DFAs, uh, DFA3 is having the least number of the states. So we should actually uh, design the automata with the least number of the states because that will be more efficient than the DFA, which is having more number of the states. 
So this is this we can say that this is the minimal DFA for the given language. So DFA three is the minimal DFA for the given language. So we will see more examples in the subsequent lectures. Thanks for watching this video.